So as a retailer, you would have access to our platform where we have data on thousands of a retail, other retailers or brands that they may want to monitor. And different retailers may have different reasons for wanting to monitor. One could be, what are the competition doing with sales promotion strategies that we need to be able to differentiate from or perhaps even emulate during holiday seasons. Another may be, what are the brands and designers are newly discovered that we didn't know about and some of the smaller boutique retail competitors are online and showcasing so that we can get our hands on those designs so that we can appeal to a big, bigger market. Um, so we get our information from what we affectionately call spiders. We build these little spiders that go out to the web and let's say it goes on to an e-commerce site like a Nordstrom, for example, first, it'll crawl through the whole Nordstrom website and download the information like a product catalog. Then the spider will go back every single day um, and record any changes it may observe. For example, are there new products introduced? Are there certain products that have been sold out? Um, or are there maybe discount price changes on those products? And in aggregate, um, across different retailers and thousands or millions of products, it becomes a very powerful tool to understand what the market is doing from day to day. What most of our clients, when they work with our data set, often in the beginning they had questions about, is my competitor going to get the same set of information? So the question actually usually is no. And the reason why we say that is, each person, even if they, each company, even though they may be competitors of each other, who they consider to be the overall competitor set are overall very different from what we discover in industry uh, conversations. So one of our global clients looks at over 100 retailers in 15 countries. For a smaller retailer, you maybe only care about, let's say you're a German local retailer chain that you're in four towns. Maybe you only care about the Germany market and four other retailers, and it's very affordable in that way. So we price it out based upon how big a competitive set you're looking at. The smaller you are, the smaller set that you want to look at. The underlying technology, as long as we're looking at e-commerce, we can really crawl anything. We can look at furniture or beauty products or perhaps even electronics or even cars, like automotive cars, what's being sold in used markets, for example. So all that can be adapted. We definitely have data on Switzerland. We don't have any Swiss clients yet, and certainly we'll welcome any opportunity to work with them. Um, but the short answer is we have a lot of data all around this region. Um, we haven't worked with any clients in this area yet. Got to give us a little time. We're only about two years old. <laughs>